Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining me. Late last night at about 9.57 p.m., that would be Central Daylight Time, there was a 7.7 .7 earthquake along the New Hebrides Trench. Interestingly, uh, back in 2021, there was also a 7.7. .7. This earthquake was about 25 miles below sea level, and so far there's been 32 earthquakes in this location. This was what's called a thrust earthquake. Here's two different examples of thrust earthquake. This is what they consider a normal thrust earthquake. It was not a reverse thrust earthquake. And you can see where uh, the fault line rises up and the other side drops down. 24 people sent in reports to USGS. USGS gave it an intensity level of 4. 214 miles or 345 kilometers west there by New Caledonia was a report that said um, the earthquake at the Isle of Pines and it was 2 p.m. Friday their time when it occurred I'm glad they gave that information also New Caledonia now this is a little bit farther 443 kilometers west um, so that would be about 275 miles, said they felt some slight tremors. Yeah, they're rocking and they're rolling. Let's see, another one. Um, uh, that one is not translating. Another one from New Caledonia. Slight tremor felt at R2 while sitting on a hard chair. Surface of a glass of water, very slightly agitated. Uh, let's see here. Uh, shaking the lasted a few minutes. Trinkets, covered doors, banged together. Another report, the building shook for over a minute. The screens swayed. Wow. Uh, here it says that the tremor lasted about 30 seconds. Slight shaking for 15 to 25 seconds. Uh, okay, what else we got? Tremor that lasted one minute stopped then resumed one minute in in savannah pate another report about 437 miles southwest north folk island burnt pine it just gives the location another one from burnt pine north folk island two short rolling earthquakes the couch i was sitting on gently rocked but I'm on North Folk Island. Now this one comes from Kingston, also North Folk Island. Two tremors lasted under um, under a minute with a minute in between. Here in Geoscope, you can see how the fault moved. This trench is really deep um, there, about four miles in depth. And you might find this interesting because there is a, um, a history of tsunamis in this location. Okay, Volcano in Tonga, I suppose that's when it erupted. And it gives the uh, tidal wave, the tsunamis. Um, that was um, January 15th, 2022. Um, March 4th of 2021, earthquake in New Zealand caused a tsunami of one meter, which would be about three feet. Let's see, 2018, New Caledonia. Loyalty Islands, where this one occurred, or close to. Um, that one was 2 meters, so that would be about 6 feet. Um, December 5th of 2018. Okay, um, April 2007. Earthquake on the Sol Solomon Islands with a magnitude 8.1. Um, they had a 2 meter tsunami. Okay, uh, New Caledonia. 1997 doesn't give any details just that there was a tsunami of two meters this occurred in russia the earthquake and sent a tsunami all the way to the uh, um, hawaiian islands probably the uh, u.s coast four cows 
were um, killed in Hawaii and it destroyed bridges and um, here it says a total of 10,000 people died on um, 11 different countries and it was a one meter high tsunami but actually um, when it left Russia it was probably a 60 foot tsunami let me bring this out and go up over there where that occurred okay let's see here okay 1952 magnitude 9.0 earthquake the fault ruptured about 150 to 200 kilometers in length so that would be about um, 90 to 120 miles okay so the tsunami was 15 to 18 meters high uh, 49 to almost 60 feet high oh it was six cows that died property damage was between 800,000 and 1 million dollars you figure that was 1952 so the population nowadays around the world is a lot greater the waves caused a cement barge to fly into a freighter in Honolulu Harbor in Hilo an expensive boathouse was destroyed a small portion of the bridge connecting Hilo to nearby coconut island was damaged uh, from the strong waves along with houses in the area being stripped from their foundations coast guard buoys were also torn from their anchors just shows you how earthquakes around the world can be so devastating so let's go back down here to this earlier earthquake the 7.7 .7. in December the 2nd of 1950 there was an earthquake in Vanuatu uh, the islands a 7.8 that was a two and a half meter high tsunami let's see eruption in New Catagonia don't excuse me uh, 1942 that created a three meter tsunami um, another eruption in 1936 a 2.2 .2 meter uh, tsunami 1931 magnitude 7.8 created um, a 1.3 meter tsunami now that earthquake was by the uh, Solomon Islands 1920 an earthquake in Vanuatu now again this is all the uh, subduction under that um, little plate must have been a small tsunami but they don't have how big it was for some reason but again that was in 1920 1875 uh, New Caledonia let's see um, magnitude 8.0 with a 2.5 meter um, tsunami this is probably one of the reasons why we need to learn history because history often has a way of repeating and let's bring this back out yeah we got the Australian plate subducting underneath the new Hebrides plate and over here on the left is New Caledonia yep we got some major earth changes coming uh, sending prayers to everybody so what are your thoughts yeah put those comments down below questions if you have people there that may have felt it and as always thank you for watching and be prepared and safe and i'll talk to you later god bless you bye, -bye.